lag properties or properties of logarithms. The first one here, it's um, multiplication property or product property. Um, that's log with base A, x times y. So you're multiplying, that's x times y here, and then you add here. So that's the first one. The second one is the quotient property or the quotient rule. That's log with base A, x divided by y is equal to log with base A x minus log with base A of y. So we have a minus here. Since we're dividing, when you multiply, you're adding. And then the third property of log here is power property. And that's log with base A x power of y is equal to y log with base a power of x. So just simply put the y on the side. When you're putting this on the side of your log, it should be before the log function, not after the log function. So this is the power property or the power rule for the three major log properties. Example, so what we're doing here is we're trying to apply those three major log properties. So instead of having only one log function here, we're going to express multiple log functions. So this is expansion. So first, we have to look at the top, which is the numerator, and that's m times n times q. So if the letters are sitting beside each other, that is multiplication. So what we're doing here is using the product rule or the product property. Um, that would be addition. So our answer here would be equal to log with base A M plus log with base A n plus log with base a q. Next, we have to address it's the bottom. And at the bottom, you have the division sign here. So we apply the quotient property or the quotient rule. So that would be subtraction. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. So it's like they have in pairs. When you have multiplication, you add. And when you have division, you subtract. So it's a minus here. And then remember, you have two terms at the bottom. So you should have the parentheses here to group the two terms. So you can distribute the minus sign. So we will have in, in the bottom also, that's p squared times t power 4. So we have to apply the multiplication or the product property or the product rule. So that would be log with base a p squared 
so that would be a plus because that's the operator if you have the product property so this is plus log with base a of t power 4 applying the product property okay, and then we will just copy everything on the next line uh, for the first three terms and then we distribute the sign here and we apply the power rule so as you can see here there is a power two so we have to bring that to the side of log so that should be a negative times a positive becomes a negative and then the two should be on the side log with base a p and then next we multiply negative times positive log with base a t power four and observe that there is a power also so we apply the power property here and then applying that power property it's going to be on this side so that's a negative times a positive it's a minus four we bring down the power using the power property or the power rule log with base a of t and as you can see we have one two three four five log function so this is our final answer because we applied already our uh, properties okay and we cannot simplify that further so for this problem you're given with a log function only one and then now you expand that to multiple lag functions using the different properties. Now think about if the, ex the example or the given would be the answer here. So you're just doing the reverse process. You're going to put this back to the original e expression by applying still the three major log properties okay next example So this is log with base 3 of x plus 2 plus log with base 3 of x minus log with base 3 of 2. Now, take note that it seems that you can distribute this function here, uh, which is not true. So you cannot distribute log with base 3 and say, uh, I will have log with base 3 of x plus log with base 3 of 2. That is a wrong answer. Now, distributive property here is not applicable. So you only use those major three properties. So in this case, this one is not possible. So what we're doing here, it's we're going to express our given log functions into one single log by applying those properties. So we have a plus here and we have a minus. 
So we have to apply the product property and the quotient property of logs. Okay, doing those, it will give you now log with base 3. So since we have plus here, so we have to multiply. That would be x plus 2 times our x there divided by why is it divided by because of the um, minus sign here so that should be the quotient rule or the quotient property so we have to divide this by two okay you may stop there but we always simplify our answer so we can actually just multiply and distribute the x here like this and our answer would be x squared plus 2x over 2 okay so we have only one log function now and that's our final answer